So, another training KW Senshi camp. We are at the final stages now, maybe a few more minutes. But uh, there's something that uh, I can see in the past few camps. People uh, sometimes uh, somehow are getting younger and younger. Is that uh, something that uh, you personally see over here? Yeah, I see the age difference, or not, not especially younger, but the the more more uh, they have diversity in age. Yes, I've seen that. And I'm watching all the coaches over here, and every one of you has uh, his own uh, uh, view on things. Uh, you personally, are you uh, uh, focusing more on the physical side uh, of training? When I do the training here, basically I focus on the physical side and not on the mental side because um, I don't want to. I don't want the, the the participants. I don't want to push them, press them too much. I want to push them, press them uh, in condition, but not in not not here. And very often we are seeing that uh, there are huge mismatches, someone uh, taller, someone more different uh, in weight. Uh, is this important for a smaller guy especially to work with someone who is heavier, who hits harder? I don't know. Um, basically they have to, to go for it. But somebody, for example, Sammy Schilt, he is so much bigger, he has so much advantage for that. And that will always be his 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 big uh, advantage on on other people. And then if you have to fight with somebody like that, yeah, you have to go for it. Um, because uh, if you are a fighter, then you have to try to fight anyway. So the, I think that this is something good that they're trying to fight uh, fighters with uh, different posture, with different weight, and so on. Yeah, that's never bad. It's always good to uh, to do it like that. As long as the bigger and stronger fighter keeps it quiet and don't, don't go too hard on him. Okay, and yesterday it was Senshi Tuoni. We saw seven knockouts. Uh, what? Uh, how do you saw it uh, from inside the ring? You are part of the uh, judges team. Um, yeah, I think the level was. I, what, what I see is that the level is getting better and better. And I don't know if it's about the training we do or or the training they do themselves. But that's what, what is good to see. Uh, that uh, And sometimes I hear that uh, fighters from Senshi go to glory or something. So that's, I think that's, that's a big compliment for Senshi. And uh, in the last few uh, editions of Senshi, we haven't seen uh, any women fight. Uh, do you expect to see more women participate in those uh, gala nights? I would like to see that because uh, I think women fight uh, yeah, it is becoming more and more popular, so uh, yeah, I hope uh, I will see more women fight. And did you notice someone from the camps that uh, maybe is ready to try the, herself on the century ring? So I have seen some, some girls of which I think, okay, you may be able to fight. But of course, I don't know uh, if, they are, uh, if they want to, uh, if they fight already, those things I don't know. Okay, and we are just two months from the next uh, Senshi camp. Uh, are we going to see you again here in April? If I get invited, for sure. I can okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. So, Semi, it's a wrap. Since the first time you were here, how many years is it? Can you remind us? Yeah, for <laughs> how many years? I think I'm already five years already in Senshi. It's, a re it's really for a long time and uh, I really enjoy. What I really like this time is you see more foreigners come in. First it was more like uh, only Bulgaria, but now you see much more different countries. So for me, I think Senshi is really growing, and we are uh, the, the potential is even 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 better. So it's going even more internationally. We see a lot of fighters coming uh, here to train that are going to participate in the other big organization, One uh, Glory. Do you see the, those the people that are coming here to learn, or they are just coming to see what's happening here in Bulgaria? I think it's a little bit of both, you know, people come to learn something, they want to see what's happening, they want to be a part of the, because it's like a big, uh, big waves coming in. So people want to know what's happening and they want to know it, yes, that's for sure. And your approach personally, I see that uh, you're trying to go uh, more mental on uh, fighters and uh, Ernesto, he's going more, f more physical. Why is there such a big difference between two of the biggest uh, stars in kickbox history? Yeah, I think everybody has his own style. And for me, I think it's a big, uh, 
mentality is most important. Without the mentality, you can have all the technique in the world, you can all know all the combinations in the world. But if your mentality is uh, not, you did not train your mentality, you did not train to, to go on when it's going to get uh, difficult, then you will do it, you don't do it in a fight. And in a fight, there are many moments that you have to rely on your mentality. So that's why I think it's really important to make them aware of the power of your mental power. And yesterday on Saint Chitwoni, we saw a lot of uh, differences in uh, height, in weight, even in the, the heavyweight uh, division. And today we saw uh, that some of the fighters they are trying to challenge each other with uh, very different postures. We see some of the small girls over here who are around 40, 50 kilograms trying to fight uh, someone who is 70, 80 kilograms. Is that something that they need to work on, or is it something that just happening here on training? Look, this is something you know. Uh, it's not realistic in a fight, in a, in, a, in a sport fight. But in real life, it's realistic that sometimes you have an opponent who's, who is bigger than you, who is stronger than you, who has, has more money, is more powerful, have more influence than you, and then you have to do your thing. So this is also training. And sometimes winning is knowing that, you're not can win, that you cannot win. This can also be a win. So it's go much more deeper than only the moment. So over here you're not just working for people who are trying to participate in different tournaments, but uh, to learn something that they can use in their personal life. For, for me, yes, this is the message I want to bring, you know, because for me, kickboxing and karate bring all my life. All my life I'm training, all the benefits I have from it, and I cannot, uh, I cannot imagine without all these benefits. So I want uh, all the people to know this and to, to uh, be able to use this. Yes. So we are two months away from the next camp, the next uh, Saint Gala. What can we expect uh, for them? I think in the next uh, next uh, camp of the next gala will be at uh, Saint 21. I think, of course, this is going to be spectacular again. But uh, I, I got maybe better news. You know, in July, the beginning of July, there's a big summer camp, and it's just it's just announced that it's going to happen, and there is going to be like an amateur kickboxing tournament. And I think for all the fighters. Uh, who wants to fight in Shenxi, this will be a great opportunity to show your skills and, uh, during this summer camp. So I think this will be even a better attraction than the, than the event before this. Yeah, of course, you cannot say this, but I think July, June, July, this is going to be, if you want to be in Shenxi, then this is the moment you to, to show yourself. Okay, well, I'm sure that we are going to see some of the fighters over here that are coming to train, that they are going to try themselves on the tournament. And I want to ask you something uh, outside of the things that we are uh, talking uh, now. Yesterday, you were the, the judge on one of the fights, the MMA fight, the open fight. Some people think that you stopped the fight too early. Why did that uh, happen? Especially, the, I think, uh, Sheriff was not uh, okay with your decision. Of course, this, this will always happen. But in my, in my opinion, he was down on this moment, and it's about the moment. And when I stopped the fight, he could stand up. Then I think for myself, why didn't you stand up when, when I was walking towards you? Because I walk first and then I say stop. So for me, he was out. But later he had a big mouth again. So this was, maybe it was too soon. But in my opinion, at that moment, I make the right decision. And if you want to go for a rematch or something, you have to talk to the organization because I want to keep the fighter safe. And if I see something happen like this, he's go out. And uh, my, my son told me, say, they, they, uh, they uh, uh, punched him awake. <laughs> he was out and they punched him and he got awake again, like, like you put the water in the face, you know? And it, maybe it was like that, but then it was still, it was too late. So it's my responsibility that he can be uh, in the next uh, tournament, he can be in the next fight. So I don't want to have accidents. So, Maybe next time, next time when you know you get it down, you have to work, work, work. You cannot wait till the three, four, five punches will land on your face because then I will step in. Okay, uh, but is it something that's uh, uh, mentioned in the rules because uh, it's an MMA fight, but it's in a ring. If they were in a cage, maybe they would have a few more seconds more to just to be sure that he's out. Is this something uh, that mentioned in the uh, rules for the Open? Maybe they do that in the UFC, but I think uh, we're not the UFC. And uh, 
we want to protect our fighters. I want to fight him another day. And if some uh, big accident happens, he will not fight another day. And then I have a problem for the rest of my life. So now he lose, it's bad for him. But uh, be sure, train next time, train harder. And be sure that if you get knocked, uh, knocked down, because it was a real good knockdown, be, uh, be aware that you have to fight after that. You cannot say after a knockdown, I'm going to wait in my gut to pass the storm. If he's going to pass the storm, it's finished for him. It's easy, it's a simple rule. This is something that's learning for everyone who wants to pers uh, participate in these kind of fights because uh, first and most important is uh, their health, their, their well-being. So I'm glad that you uh, did what you did yesterday and thank you for the conversation today and hope we will see you next time here on the camps. Yes, yes, of course. And of course, since you open, uh, this is like the MMA rule set, sort of, but it's so different and 30 seconds in the in the ground position is really difficult to to make a finish there so you really have to work hard and also yeah be stay keep fighting all the times so thank you very much and uh, i hope to see you guys next time Us.